I will be presenting our work today titled Hazard Integrated Understanding Security Risks in App Extensions to Teen Chat Systems. I'm Ming Ming, a PhD student advised by Professor Xiaofeng Wang. This is a joint work by researchers from Indiana University Bloomington, University of Chinese Academy of Science, and Sanya San University. So what is the Teen Chat Systems? The team chat system is a software that allows the team members to collaborate online. There are two main features of the team chat system. The first one is the team members is focused more on group chat than one-on-one -on -one direct message. The second one is the team chat system is decided to support collaborations such as group video, screen selling, and project management. As so in the right picture, uh, a teen chat system usually provides uh, many teen chat apps which can access the resource of the teen chat system through the APIs. During our research, we identified 12 popular teen chat systems such as Slack, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, and so on, which have a combined 320 million downloads from the Google Play Store. Those teen chat systems usually run their teen chat app markets, which has more than 215,000 teen chat apps in total, including communication, file management, developer tools, and so on. S some popular teen chat apps are so in the right picture. Considering the team members and the teen chat app in the teen chat systems, the team chat systems imp implement two access control models to protect them. The first one is a role-based access control model, which can protect data and other information. Under this model, the team members are granted access to the resource based on their roles in the team. For example, a general member has a low privilege who can read and post the messages in the channel he joins. Then edit or delete his messages. The second one is a permission-based access control model, which uses a unique access token and a list of permission to control the information a team chat app can touch. Given the two access control model for protecting a team chat app, let me introduce our threat model. We assume that the adversary is a workspace member with the privilege to create and install a team chat app in the team in the workspace. While the, the team chat app can take any permitted action under the current security model. Besides, the adversary will perform all attackers remotely without accessing the victim's computer and software. Considering our threat model, the question becomes whether well, the current access control model in team chat system can protect data and regulate a team chat app's behaviors well. However, in our research, we find there are many security risks in at the whole life cycle of a team chat app, including installation, configuration, execution, and update. First of all, let me introduce the security risks during the app install. In our research, we find three kinds of security risks of app install, including install without waiting, install without notification, and install by deception. In summary, we find 14 chat systems do not wait at all, and five team chat system allows a malicious team chat app to be installed without notification and the full team chat system allows a malicious team chat app to use the name and icon of another team chat app. What's more, we also find there is no any notification during app, uh, app update, which opens the door to a new security risk. For example, as so in the picture, the Adversary can bypass the protecting in some team chat systems by installing a team chat app with harmless permissions, such as app mentions read, later updating it with more sensitive ones, such as channel's history, chat rate, and so on. For 
During our research, we find uh, five out of 12 teen chat systems are vulnerable to this uh, app update attack. When creating a teen chat app, the developer can configure the app to promote it, uh, it action with it hosting teen chat systems and uh, the workspace. For example, some teen chat systems provide the setting of a slash command, which allows a workspace member to launch and install the app, teen chat app by typing a command string in his chat box. As so in the picture, uh, the victim types the string slash room and sends it, then the room app will generate a room meeting link and post it in the chat box. It is convenient, but it opens the door, uh, open door to a new security risk. In specific, a malicious teen chat app can claim the slash command rejected by a legitimate app to hijack the attempt to invoke the app. So as to replace the app and uh, impersonate it uh, other team members who may use the legitimate app. Take the picture as an example. When the victim types the string slash room, then the malicious room will receive this event and uh, sends a room meeting to uh, a room meeting controlled by the adversary. Among the 12 team chat system, we find the risky is present on five systems. What's worse, we also find the Slack command hijacking attack on Slack can cause a privacy leak. So let me show a Slack demo, hijacking attack demo on the Slack. First, we can find when the victim types the Slack command slash room, then the benign room will be invoked. So we also can use the attacker can use slash room. Then the attacker will install the malicious app uh, and test room into his workspace. Then the, after the work uh, install, the victim can type the slash command uh, the slash room again in the public in his public uh, uh, channel the malicious app test room will be invoked. Then the victim can type the slash room in his private channel. Then the malicious app will be invoked. Oh, another interesting setting is link unfolding, which provides a customized experience of for the teen chat app to generate pre preview for URLs posted by the workspace members. As so in the picture, if a team chat app says docs.google.com as an unfolding link, then it will receive any URLs starting with this prefix. Then it can post the preview of a Google Doc to the chat box. However, an adversary can use the link unfolding to monitor all URLs posted in the channels. For example, when a malicious teen chat app says docs.google.com in his configuration, then the victim will sense a, when the victim sends a Google Doc link to any channel, the malicious app will receive this link and sends it to the adversary server. Our analysis of 12 teen chat systems shows that both Slack and Facebook workplace have this vulnerability. As so above, a teen chat app uses the teen chat system API to access the workspace resource. Although there is a permission-based access control model to protect the teen chat app, we find three kinds of risky APIs in the teen chat systems. The first one is the access control violations. For example, a malicious teen chat app can use the risky API to access the resource created by a victim. Well, the resource is only allowed to access by the victim. To avoid this security risk, we think access control on teen chat app should follow the least privilege uh, principle. Considering the teen chat app 
system supposes sending private messages. So the question becomes whether a team chat app can access the private messages from any team members. However, we find some team chat systems allow the system admin to read other members' private messages. To protect private messages, we think a team chat system should clarify their choice of the access control design for sensitive user data, such as whether well, private messages can be accessed to be to uh, by the system admin. The last one is a URL swooping attack, as shown in the picture. A malicious team chat app can use the message posting API to send a swooping attack, a swooping URL to the channel. The victim will think it is a legitimate link, such as www.google.com. However, if he clicks on it, he will be redirected to a malicious website, such as www.attacker.com. To protect to against this URL spoofing attack, we think team chat system should provide a warning if a task of the present link is different from the actual one it redirects. Besides, based on those policies, we design a team chat app API analysis framework. Due to the time limit, please refer to our paper for details. By using our analysis framework, we find 30 risky APIs in total. As shown in the table, 14 of them violate access control. 12 of them are URL swooping attack. Others can use to read a private message. Finally, we find and report 55 security issues, and nine of them have been confirmed by six vendors. Besides, we also provide our suggestions about uh, risky mitigations, such as team chat systems should better define their threat model. The second one is the scope of operations that can take place on a team chat system should be clearly specified. That's all. Thank you for your time.